In this tutorial, we'll start looking at constraints. And that's up here with this little button that looks like uh, the chain right here, object constraints. Okay, and it, we'll use the most simple one for starters, and we'll use the damped track constraint. So I have this, these two objects in the scene like this. And this is important to know about the global and local axes if you don't know about them. But they're covered in other tutorials, but we'll do a review. Here's positive Z with blue arrow, positive Y with the green arrow, and then positive X in this direction. And if I was to just take this object here and I rotate it on X with RX a little bit like that, there my global axis is still pointing in that direction like that. But the object itself is pointing in its own direction. And you know that when you go into the local axis button like that. All right. So it's positive Z is pointing in this direction. So it's changed. The orientation is a little bit different. All right. And in this one, here's its positive Z up like this for local and positive Z for global. They're the same because I haven't rotated it around. Okay. But we, I typically work in local mode a lot because that way I know where this is working. And I sometimes work in normal mode as well. But this is an important feature for this constraint. And we're going to add this damp track constraint right now to this object. Okay. And the damp track constraint, the reason we need to know about this is because it's basing its axes here that we can select are based upon the local axis. All right. Just kind of like in the particle system in the XYZ emitter portion like that. So what all this is doing, it's a really powerful feature. As long as you know this local axis, then it's easy. So you're saying the target in this case, and I want the target to be this sphere named sphere. So I'll pick this and I'll just go pick sphere from the list. And then suddenly it's pointing right here by default it says Y. So here's the local Y is now pointing at the sphere. And if I grab the sphere and I move the sphere up and down, you can see the local, that local Y axis is always pointing at that location. Easy enough, right? So I grab this and I know this is, this is positive Z, then same thing, I press positive Z. Now that object is always going to track that like that. It's a great feature and it'll allow you to do all kinds of cool custom animation setups like this. All right, but now let's look at one other thing. Let's take this object here and I'll scrunch them a little bit in Z and maybe I'll extend them in X like that. All right, so now where is it pointing? Well, it's pointing at the object center like this. But there's there's another option in here when you set this. So you get a vertex group as an option. Well, it's the vertex group of the sphere. But there, I don't have a vertex group set on the sphere. So if you don't know vertex groups, just take a quick look. We'll go grab this object data button right here and I'll set a vertex group and I'll give it a name. You know, maybe I'll call it sphere group for the vertex group. And to set vertex groups, you have to go into edit mode and maybe I'll go into here and I'm just going to set a couple of these faces down here as part of a vertex group. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to give it a weight of one and I'm going to assign it. So now that is part of a group and nothing else is part of the group. Okay, so now I want to go back into here to the constraint button right here and I can now pick a vertex group in the sphere group and now this is pointing to that vertex group on that object. How huh? how cool is that? And otherwise it's pointing to the center of the object here. All right. So that's one thing you can do. And then it also has the possibility of you can do the same thing with bones. If your target is a object if if you have bones, you can with an armature, you can point to individual bones as well. But I'll deal with that in another lesson with armatures and bones as we're doing with that. But it's really straightforward setup. It's the same uh, principle involved. All right. And I think you can take it from there. And I'll see you in the next lesson.